Hallo, hallo, Mike, Test. You'll see how easy it is to extract this information, information and make a dashboard by just writing this a few lines of code here. Actually, you can make it very useful for your personal projects as well. Hello financial programmers, I'm Ritwik Dashora and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. This is the third and the final video about Coin Paprika playlist. In the first two videos, we talked about the basics of Coin Paprika. We explored the entire platform. We saw how to get the API key and also how to extract some highly valuable information. In the second video, we explored the entire API. We checked all the different types of functions and features which are available on the coin paprika api which we can ex extract uh, directly in python we did it on google collab in this video we will make a financial dashboard to extract all this information in a very good looking format as well so we'll make a very simple and easy to understand web application using streamlit and display all the information that is extracted in the second video in a very clean way i'm using vs code which is visual studio code to make the financial dashboard dashboard right so let's just open or create a new file i'll just write dashboard.py i'll make another one which is called api key.py why because i will provide the api key in this one and we'll keep it here always and then i'll start uh, writing the code here but before that guys if you're new to my youtube channel on this channel i turn all my viewers to successful financial programmers here i upload videos related to making trading bots uh, using some highly valuable finance apis in implementing ai in finance making some great trading strategies etc etc so if there's something that you're interested in then click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are many more videos that are uh, in my pipeline which will come uh, on this platform for free very soon and and I bet that this particular free click will add a lot of value to your lives. Okay, so let's start extracting all the information here. The first thing which would I would like to import is Streamlit as ST, right? Now, many users have got many problems on installing uh, Streamlit in their systems. For that, I have made multiple videos uh, which covers how to use Streamlit. I highly recommend you to watch this entire playlist on Streamlit. Uh, if you're facing any issues in this video i'm not covering those things because uh, if you get any problem please refer to those uh, videos I'll, I'll i'll provide the link of the playlist on streamlit in the description section perfect i have saved my api key in this particular uh .py file i will import or i let's do one thing from api key import api key inside this i have my api key is saved now uh, coin paprika from coin paprika or i'll just do one thing i'll come back to the code that i wrote in the last video in the beginning yeah i'll just uh, copy this and paste it here right. from coin paprika import client as coin paprika and then that's it so you can see that the coin paprika package is not installed in my vs code if i run this it will show me an error yeah no more module called coin paprika so again coming to this one pip install coin paprika sdk i'll paste it in the terminal and then this will install it perfect the yellow line below coin paprika is gone now got it perfect now let's uh, uh, let me just do st.header and then i'll just write coin paprika dashboard let's run this and over here i'll write streamlit run dashboard.py why dashboard.py because this is the file name and then stream this is how i will be making the web application if i run this it has redirected me to google chrome right and this is the dashboard right, which is coin paprika dashboard now one by one i'll keep on adding different things let me just uh, reduce the size of it okay perfect coming back to our vs code uh, what different things are we extracting so i'll just write instrument is equal to spelling of instrument yeah equal to st dot sidebar right on the sidebar i would provide all the inputs dot select box and then inside this i will provide all the uh, instrument types right what are different functions that we uh, used in the last video coins coin event uh, exchange list exchanges global market markets etc right i have pasted all the functions here right now some of the functions work in a different way etc etc there's something that will figure it out but as of now this is the list of all the functions that we have which is inside the options now uh, if let's just uh, again save it and coming back here i'll click on rerun you'll see on the left hand side you have a list of all the functions right now on selecting all these different things there should be different data which should be coming 
here on the dashboard that's the main goal now if you see uh, in uh, um, some of the cases we don't need to provide let me just scroll down a bit we don't need to provide any inputs inside this for example in this one the parenthesis is empty right however in some cases we need to provide some input such as id right which is another input which we need to provide in the sidebar of the dashboard right sometimes we uh, like when most of the times we just need to provide the coin id but uh, like for example in this case there's no input required inside this one but in some cases we have some exchange id as well right which is binance so we need to split it in, uh, split it into three parts one segment where no input is required second segment where coin id is required third segment where the exchange market uh, exchange information exchange id is required <laughs> right and i think there's one more which is uh, the 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 functions on which the start date and time is also required so these are all the things like uh, and this one is the last one which is where we need to provide the uh, the quote id currency id as well perfect so three four types of uh, functions i'll start with the type of the functions where no inputs are required for example the global markets so i'll just write if instrument is equal to the first one is i think coins right in coins we didn't write any yeah we didn't write provide any input so i'll just write coins here is equal to coin that's one segment and i'll write or and i'll keep on adding different types of functions on which no inputs are required so i'll pause this video for a moment i'll just write it down and then come back perfect so yeah these are all the functions on which uh, let me zoom it a bit yeah on which on which uh, uh, no inputs are required inside this one coins exchange list global markets and tickers right here what i'll do here is basically i'll, I'll use a function called get atr which is get attribute so data is data is equal to get attribute inside this i'll provide the in uh, client comma instrument and that's there's no input inside so i'll keep it like this one now in some of the cases uh, the um, data frame functionality works in some of the cases it doesn't so i'll just try if this thing works out so df dot sorry pd dot data frame and then i'll just provide this one if this thing works it's great otherwise i'll just uh, provide say let's try uh, providing an index inside this one so data comma index is equal to zero com uh, and then transposing it now i'll just write st dot write and then df right, which is extremely dot write it will display it in the main segment let's save it if you come back here we have uh, information about some of them if we say click on exchanges nothing happens because we needed to provide some information over there coins was one of them right if, if we click on this one it will give us a data frame of all the coins just zoom it a bit perfect this works fine better now what was the next one we have exchange list global market and ticker so exchange list if we click here you'll see a data frame global markets and tickers we have data for all these um, functions now the next one is the uh, are all the functions in which we needed to provide the coin id right so if the instrument is i will come back here the first one was this one only which is coin coin inside this we needed, needed to provide id i'll just write instrument is equal to coin and so on i'll again keep on writing different things by checking all of them i'll again pause this video for a moment and come back just uh, before that guys i have a very important information to share recently i launched a course on uh, python for financial programming so if you are trying to learn python for finance from scratch then this is something that you might be interested in just go to my website which is fpritvik.com python over here you will see two buttons indian candidates non-indian candidates so you can click as per your uh, location it will redirect you to this the main website where the entire course information is available you'll see that uh, there are five sessions 10 chapters 22 videos 10 quizzes and three assignments with two live projects and uh, uh, this is the entire syllabus of this course for all the people who are interested to learn python from scratch and who are struggling learning python on their own i highly recommend it because uh, it's very very affordable and i have covered a lot of things from a very very simplistic eyesight and in the end in session four and five you'll see stock analysis and investment portfolio creation projects which are my personal projects we did it using some financial analysis if you use rtk40 code uh, you'll get an instant 40 percent discount which is only available for the first 100 candidates so yes guys i'll see you in the course let's come back to our code okay so there were many guys yes, coin events exchanges today ticker twitter uh, markets historical ohlcv and price con converter are all, all the functions in which we needed in which we needed to provide the 
coin id right now because we need we need to provide a coin id we should have another text box uh, in the sidebar so let's just write id dot st dot sidebar dot text input inside this uh, this is the label is coin id and let's just provide a default value as btc bitcoin uh, now again data is equal to i'll just copy this thing only because the same functionality will be used here the only difference is that we will have to provide id inside this one now try same thing i'll just copy and paste this one now i'm 100 percent sure this won't be working for all of these but let's see what all different types of functions for which this data is not available or uh, it's it, it is uh, showing some uh, errors coming back to this one right uh, so for coins it, it was working well for coin yeah it is showing some error length of values does not match length of index i think i've, I've made some mistake i think it's because of this one let me just do df is equal to data i don't want to get the transposed data Let's save this one and come back here if we rerun this yeah so yeah this particular data cannot be uh, made into a data frame format we will have to keep it in the dictionary format only no worries let's let's check it for events it is working well you'll see all the information here exchanges today perfect what else ticker twitter market ticker it's working well twitter yeah this is also good markets perfect historical data ohlcv and price converter historical data okay there's a problem here i think it's because of yeah yeah we had to provide the start date in the historical data if you remember in the last video as well i did the same so i think it wouldn't be working for the ohlcv as well this will also be an error perfect no worries and this will also be an error because more information needs to be provided so i just need to come back here and do some basic changes here let me just do try this one if this thing works out well perfect fine if does not work well then i'll write accept i'll provide another if function uh, if condition here if instrument is equal to historical let's start with historical only and inside this i'll provide date and uh, then calculate the data so date is this one Right, which is the input text input and this is the data i will change this to id right and uh, this one perfect this the same goes with the ohlcv as well if it is ohlcv we have the date and uh, id and then the date inside this one the last one was pr price converter which is here price convert instrument is price converter uh, we need to provide the quote currency as well the default value is usd us dollars and then the amount as well the, and this was the function that we will use for the price convert right let me just reduce this one after this try uh, making it as a data frame if not just keep it as it is and then then st.write df right there was one more here which is exchange uh, markets inside that we needed to provide the exchange id i'll just write if this one is exchange markets um, we need to provide the exchange id so i'll just write exchange is equal to st.sidebar text in, uh, input exchange which is the, the default value is binance right here i should provide double ac and then the data is equal to get attribute this one df is equal to data and st dot right is this in the top as well i think i forgot to keep it here so i'll just put it over here as well perfect that's great now L let me just save this and come back here rerun perfect now everything should be working coins is working well coin is also perfect events great exchange list exchanges global market market today uh, and so on yeah everything is working well now so yeah you'll see how easy it is to extract this information information and make a dashboard by just writing this a few lines of code here um, actually you can make it very useful for your personal projects as well so yes guys that's it for this video uh, if you would like to get this particular code uh, i will save this code in my google drive and if you are new comer um, i share my google drive access with my google drive community members uh, on that platform not only this one there are many more codes that which are saved uh, over there such as my personal trading bots my pine script strategies some of my um, highly valuable study materials that you can use for your personal projects etc etc uh, to become a google drive community member just search financial programming with ritwik on youtube click on my channel and over here uh, click on this particular link which is on the right side of my photo uh, if you click here it will redirect you to a post here you can just follow all these steps to become a google drive community member uh, you can see that the cost of google drive uh, community is 
very very small and the reason that i have kept it uh, because i had a couple of interns to manage the quality of the google drive and i'm very glad to tell you that everyone over there is very happy with the type of content that we upload uh, over there so so i highly recommend you to check that out lastly guys if you like even one thing about this video just click on the like button it's really really important for the algorithm and this how you'll be supporting my work as well secondly there are many more videos coming on this youtube channel so please click on subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon uh, and i because i don't want you to miss out on some highly valuable content that i'll put here for free if you are interested to involve me and my team in your personal projects guys we provide free la freelancing services as well just reach out to me on this particular email address and we'll reply as soon as possible last but not the least if you are learning python from scratch guys this is something for you please check out my course on python for financial programming and i highly recommend you uh, because it will help you upskill yourself significantly thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end you can click here to subscribe to my youtube channel over there you'll see this entire playlist of uh, coin paprika and over there you'll see my video on mt5 trading bot that have got a huge love from youtube audience keep learning keep financial programming i'll see you in the next video very very soon until then peace <laughs>